in a previous video we looked at an example of differentiating using the product rule we use the product rule and differentiated then after that we also expanded the brackets and differentiated and we saw that we got the same answer now in this case it's not going to be so easy to expand a bracket x plus 7 raised to the power of 5 so forget about that let's just use the product rule this is where the product rule comes in as very useful when you have a function times another function but you just cannot afford to expand just like in this case we cannot afford to expand x plus 7 raised to the power of 5 it will be too much work and will take too long and of course there's a higher probability of making a mistake so let's just use the product rule what we have is y equal 3a x cube times in bracket x plus 5 to the power of 5 and we need to differentiate the following with respect to x now you see that you have a number 3 you have a letter a and you have an x but whenever you see a situation like this you're re differentiating with respect to x so therefore it is y and x that are changing and the y by the x means that you're looking at the rate at which y is changing with respect to x right as x changes so any other letter you see you just regard it as a number as a constant so just like the 3 is a constant here the a is a constant whatever other letter you see is a constant only x and y are changing so here now we begin what we do we're going to hold 3ax as it is and differentiate the x plus 7 raised to the power of 5 now we could very well hold this one first and then differentiate 3ax cubed alright it doesn't matter because we're going to add them and when you add it doesn't matter which one you put first so out of habit I'll just hold 3ax cube as it is and then differentiate x to the 5 right now when you differentiate x x plus 7 to the 5 I mean when you differentiate x plus 7 to the 5 let's do it over here d by dx of x plus 7 raised to the power of 5 we're going to do it over here what we will do is d by dx of x plus 7 to the 5 then we're going to plus we hold x plus 7 to the 5 then we find d by dx of 3ax cubed now x plus 7 to the 5 when you differentiate that what you're going to do is use the chain rule you identify x plus 7 as the inside function so d by dx is something raised to the power of 5 when you differentiate something raised to the power of 5 what you do is say 5 by that something to the power of 4 you remember that now after that the inside function is differentiated with respect to x what you're going to have is just 1 when you differentiate and find d by dx of x plus 7 is going to be 1 if you don't remember you'd have to review the chain rule I have some I have a playlist on the chain rule right 
for you if you don't remember you have to review that so this is just multiply by one now let's see what we have here <coughs> we have three a x cube times d by dx of x plus seven to the fifth we did it over here what we have is five by one can forget about the one and just write five x plus seven raised to the power of four right that's it plus then we hold x plus seven to the fifth as it is then differentiate 3a x cubed what do we get we multiply by 3 so when we find d by dx of 3a x cubed we're going to multiply by the 3 so we have 3 times 3a x cubed but it's 3 minus 1 so we have 3 3 is 9 a x squared Alright, remember we keeping the a as just a number. So what we have is 9a x squared. So that's what we have. Alright, we can do some simplification now. Numbers multiplied, 3 by 5 is 15 a x cubed times x plus 7 to the fourth plus now. And then we can put the 9a in front, 9a x squared, so it's 9a x squared, and then x plus 7 raised to the power of 5. Alright, so that's your answer. So dy by dx is equal to that. Good.